Hello everyone, it is your boy Winster and I am back at it again with another video. Today we got double box opening of Yu-Gi-Oh's newest set, Legacy of Destruction. Shout out to the locals who are official tournament stores that had this set early. This doesn't drop officially everywhere until Friday. Lucky for me, they're close by. I was able to snag two boxes. I have been saving my store credit and banking my packs over a month now. Just trying to save enough so I could get these boxes. But if you guys like any type of Yu-Gi-Oh content, deck profiles, set reviews, market watches, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. That way you guys could stay up to date with that type of content drop in if you guys want to see it. Make sure you guys comment down below of a card that you guys are really, really excited for. Personally, I love the illusion cards when I was playing Branded Chimera. Uh, and I'm really like, trying to get the illusion card, the Apprentice or Nightmare Magician. I can't remember the thing's name. Or the new Dia Bell start because I have been playing Fire Kings and I only got one of each. I got one Dia Bells and then one of the ultra rare Snake Eye Monster. And I don't know how much I need, but I will try to maybe get a play set. Also, if you guys want to join a community, I have a very, very active Discord. If you guys want to chat with me, if you guys want to chat with the community, everyone in that community loves Yu-Gi-Oh, loves fighting games, loves any kind of content along those lines. So you guys make sure you guys join down below in the description box. Make sure you guys pull up to the Discord so you guys could have a little chat with me. Also, I have a very active TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch. Make sure you guys follow me on those platforms as well. I would really appreciate it. We have finally reached 2,000 subscribers, and I want to say a huge thank you for you to you guys. And we're closing on into 3K, which is absolutely insane so thank you so much i really 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 appreciate you guys' support so to celebrate we're going to be giving a box away of legacy of destruction keep your eyes open it's coming soon uh you guys will get a video on how to win that box it's free to enter uh, and you'll get more details but let's go ahead and focus on these boxes uh, and i have tcg player up just ready all right and it is always a mess when opening packs i swear Okay, so I don't know the pack trick, but we're going to go ahead and go right into it. Okay. Okay. Melodious. Sangin Kami. And then we got Sangin Pi Transcendent Dragon. Dragon. So that is four cards from the front. So if we do five. Yeah, we do five to the... Four to the... Yeah, four to the front from the back. We're going to get our uh, the hollow at the end, but... Let's go ahead and go along these commons. Uh, that's, I guess a, it's a super rare, so that's good. So we'll put it right there. And then we got Cyclist, the Circular Sprite. Blink out. This card is like really, really good, man. Target one Link Monster on the field. Yeah, target one Link Monster on the field. Return it to the extra deck. Then you can special summon one monster from your graveyard that was sent there using it as Link material. It's a really strong card really really strong you could summon just some crazy stuff off of it and then we got the common I, i'm so glad that the the tempai stuff is really really cheap that's really really good and it's like really hyped um a lot of people are looking forward to that so right, we're gonna enjoy this opening guys we got two boxes there might be more in the future so one two three four right all right here we go we got hogs Wait, Hogzerd Liz Rose? Uh, that is a mouthful. I can't even say that. Oh, we got some U Bell support. Gruesome Grave Squirmer. If you control a fiend monster, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then you could destroy one U Bell or monster that mentions it in your monster zone. You can banish this card from your graveyard as cost. Special summon one fiend monster with zero attack, zero defense from your hand or graveyard. Except this card. You could damn this card is freaking broken. Okay. Ragna rika mantis monk that actual archetype is looking pretty good they got a lot of support and it's like plants so they like really work with a lot of stuff they work with trap tricks and everything simultaneous execution cannons I, i'm probably fucking that up uh reframe the melodious songstress we got sang pai bident dragon and then we got dandy white lion if this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard you can special summon three tokens, right? In defense position, you cannot special summon from the extra deck. The turn you activate this effect, you can only use this effect of this card once per turn. Uh like it, like it's it's okay, you know. 
It sucks that you can't go into your extra deck, but I mean, it pales in comparison to what it was, you know? But I'm glad that we got that. I think the card that we're looking for, the only real super rare that we're looking for is the Tenpai stuff, right? I think that card right now, uh, let me look it up on screen. Here we go. Uh, Dino Vactus Duckus. Man, that... White Lord. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Tenpai Dragon, Chindura, and Papa's Footsteps. Oh, that's such a cute card. Valmonica Disharmonia, Lightsworn Aegis, Isaiah the Dragoness of Dragger Devotion. Oh, we got Nightmare Princess, baby. Let's go. This is the one that I really wanted. Okay, this was a good hit. Okay, let me sleeve it up. Let me sleeve it up. Hold on. Let me let me not be out of pocket right now. Okay, okay. Okay, we got a good hit on that secret. The first secret of this box, and we're already doing good. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. Really quick, let's let's look at that Apprentice Magician. Nightmare Apprentice is the card's name. Nightmare Apprentice is going for like 30 bucks right now. That's pretty good. I think you're going to end up using it in like uh, Whitewood or whatever it's called. The new Sinker archetype in uh, the new set. Um, so uh, that's what I'm also going to be building. Because they also work well with Centurion. So expect a deck profile on that. Uh, Stronghold of the Hidden Fortress, Ancient Gear Tinker, uh, Christian the Witch, or Christian Witch, Ancient Gear Commander, Cooling Embers. This card looks sick. I really like the art. Ragnarika, Skeltar Soldier, a Centurion Gargoyle. This card, Booty Cheeks. And then we got more Marshmallow. Okay, we got a super. Uh, is it Whitewood? I can't remember. I feel like if I say Wormwood, I feel like that's like a cow disease or something. One, three, four. I, I That's what it just feels like. Yeah. Valmonica Invitar. Ancient Gear Duel. Uh, Memoloton Fusion. What? This card is great. During the main phase, you can fusion someone one monster from your extra deck using monster from your hand. Or field as materials, including a memento monster. If a monster in your possession is, was destroyed by a card effect this turn, you can shuffle memento monsters from your graveyard into the deck as material. What? That's crazy. During your main phase, you could banish this card from your graveyard, destroy one monster you control. And if you do, add one mental spell or trap uh, from your deck to your hand. You can only use each effect. This card is actually really good. Holy crap. Sinful Spoils, Subduel. Take one level five illusion monster. Ah, you lost me there. You lost me there. Talos, the shoe, shoe reline, Zoma, the earthbound spirit. Oh, there's like earthbound support, ancient gear advance, in Papa's footsteps, and we got rekindling of the ashen. Okay. I think once we get to a point, like once we see all the supers, like we're just gonna like blow through these packs. Like when I did open the box at sneak peek, I I didn't get a chance. I was just kind of you know going through it. I think that's right. I think that's right. Okay. Ralrika, Sangin Kami, Sangin Pai, Bident, Dragion, Jungle Dweller. I know you guys are going to kill me in the comment section with these pronunciations. I just know it. Kirsten Witch, Sangin Summoning, Couplet, the Melodious Songstress, and we got Embers of the Ashen. Okay. This feels. Oh, we got the Lights Run card. Okay. Here we go. Into the next pack. We still have five, six packs, including the one that I'm opening right now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let me not mess that up. Let me not mess that up. We got Gruesome Grave Squirmer. Sinful Spoil Subduel. White Lord. I don't know, man. Like, Konami, you guys need, need to fix that name. That's, that's a crazy one. That is a crazy one. Extinguishing of the Ashen. Oh, this card's crazy. It looks so sick. And then we got Azia, Centurion. Ooh, Lights Were Draggling. This card, like a lot of people are looking for this card. Let's go. This box is looking really good. 
This box is looking really good. Oh, 16 bucks, looking good. Oh my God, and here's the super rare. The super rare Dragon uh, is $16. That's so crazy how much that card got short printed. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, right here. I think we could go through these now. I think we've seen a lot of Colossus. Tenpai Dragon, Chandura. Yeah, the super rare version of that one of like of that one. We haven't pulled it, but Battleground Echoes. Oh, it's level Battleground. What? Oh my god. Don't tell me like Swamp Battle Guard and Lava Battle Guard are like getting support. What? That's crazy. I mean, you love to see it, man. Like, Konami, I think Konami's doing a really great job of, like, giving old school cards. One, two, three, four. Giving old school cards, like, support. Or, like, giving them a retrain, I think it's called, right? I think, I think it's double die. What? Activate one of these effects. If you control no monster, special summon one. Okay. Target one warrior monster. You control special summon one. Earth. What? Like, if this wasn't a spell, like, that'd be pretty crazy. I mean... That die card is like not that good, right? But but still, like this summon two cards. If you already have one on the field. Goblin Biker Troika Gari. Oh, it's a little turtle. A little turtle. Look at it. It's so cute. Three more packs. So far the right side has done is good. We got Nightmare, a princess, and then we got the dragon. One, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Here we go. We still haven't pulled the one white dragon, the super rare. I think, yeah, I think we see, oh, uh, Melodious Concerto. That card's sick. It looks sick. Oh, this is Thunder Dragon, right? Twin-headed Thunder Dragon, I think is. See, like, they're doing such a good job. I'm a fan. Ooh, we got the super rare, baby. 16 bucks super rare. Let's go. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't hate the player, hate the game. That's that's what I say. Damn, this box is crazy. This box is crazy. We just not need one, two, three, four. We not need uh, to hit any of the uh, sarcophagus cards. <laughs> Those cards suck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, like I I remember when I was reading them, and I'm like, what the like, what are these, bro? What are they doing? What's next? Tant Tantrum Toddler. Two level one monsters. Shaman of the Ashen City. Last pack of right side. Like, the right side was it was bonkers. We got all this on the right side. This left side is about to go nuts. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Yeah. This left side is about to go nuts, though. Because we still have one secret, three ultras, and potentially a QCR. Okay, Goblin Biker, pile up, Grand Pile up. I love how, like, the Dia Bell Star, like, lore's, like, going with the Goblin Biker. Like, it's pretty sick. I'm a fan. Sinful Spoils of Slumber. Rag Rika Chain Coils. Also, we don't want any of the Rag Rika stuff. All right, here we go. Left hand side of first box. Here we go. First pack. Can we get something good? Like, I kind of want a QCR. I'm not going to lie. One, two, three, four. If this box has a QCR, it's a crazy box. I'm not going to cap. Okay. Yeah, I think we've seen, like, all of this already. Here we go. Here we go. Turn silence. Quick play. It looks so sick. Target one face. I want you to control. Increases level by three. Also... If you activate this card in response to your opponent's monster effect activation while you control this, and that monster mentions, Nick, like, man, that, like this is good because it's in a gate. It's a monster negate, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, like you have to respond with this card and then negate. Like, come on, bro. Like, why does it have to be so complicated? It could have just been like negate that monster's effect. I mean, given it's on a super rare, but like it's on the newest set or the, I guess it's like a new archetype, right? Like. Because it's like the Shining Sarcophagus. Shining Sarcophagus, like, 
it looks so promising. The artist like one, two, four. Even though I've never seen that duel, like it looks so promising because I, I have so much respect for like the horse stuff and they use king sarcophagus. But that is it's not that good. Not that good. Simultaneous equation cannon. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, we got a Supreme King Z Arc Synchro Universe. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's go. Blink out. Samurai Beetle. He's chilling on the on the place. We got some. I, this reminds me of Rapunzel. Not the Disney movie either. Okay, here we go. Ragnarika, Hunting Dice. Oh, no. We got a bad one. It's an illusion card. Uh, this card battles a monster. Neither player could be destroyed by battle during the main phase of a monster. Yeah. this like I really like this art a lot. It looks super sick, but this card is not sick at all. <laughs> Such a bad card. But we sleeve it. You know, we it deserves a sleeve because it's an ultra rare. You know, we'll put the supers up here. If we get any good supers that are worth money like this one, we'll put it there. Ultras and then secrets. So you guys could see them. You guys want to see them, right? You guys want to see them. I'll put them right here. I doubt that we're going to have another 10 pot because I've only ever seen like one person like with like one box gets one tempai okay two three four so we got a bunch of packs we got a whole nother box okay yeah i think at this point we've seen everything so we'll just go through it fishborg harpooner uh, you know i remember when i was like playing Yu Gi Oh as a kid the Fishborg, like, Blaster was, like, I don't think it was banned yet, but I always had an appreciation for the Fishborg, for the Frog cards. Like, those cards are so sick, man. It sucks when I was playing. I think they were, like, about to be banned or they just got banned, so I didn't have a real appreciation for them because I didn't understand Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? And then I put my, my, my stack of common somewhere else. Okay. Double die... Here we go. What do we get? Multi universe. Activate only if you do not control a face up card in your field zone. You could target one field spell that is banished or in either graveyard. Destroy this card, and if you do, place the targeted card face up in your field zone. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. If a card in the field zone will be destroyed by battle by card effect, you ban this card is crazy, man. This card is absolutely, it, it's literally terraforming, right? Like, literally teleforming. Like, yeah, the cards have to be sent to the grave, but, like, it, I, it's so good. It's such a broken field spell. Or at least in my opinion. All right, these last couple packs are about to go crazy, guys. We're about to get, like, two ultras, one secret. If I'm blessed, we get a QCR. One, two, three, four. If we're blessed. Which I think we are. Ah, oh, I got two cards. I didn't mean to do that. Tension Toddler. I did it again! Ah, oh, we got Gendor G, the Dragon of Destruction. We got a bad secret. No. What does this even do, man? Get three hundred attack for every banished card. You can use this. Uh, you can only use each effect of the following effects of this card once per turn. If you control a shining sarcophagus, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay. Uh, you can pay half your life points, destroy as many other cards in the field as possible. Wait, wait, hold on. If you control a shiny sarcophagus, you can special summon this card from your hand. Does that activate? I don't think it activates, right? It just summons? Is it like the horse cards? Card like, let me know, guys, in the comment section if that activates. And it has, like, another effect, right? Banish them, special summon. Yeah. That's a pretty good effect because he's just, like, a, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's a level eight dragon dark monster he just has a lot of support let me know can he does that affect activate i don't think it does the thing is you control it it just summons 
Maybe I'm wrong. One, two, three, four. <sighs> okay, let's not try to do that again. I usually have a pretty good grip on my cards. Oh, this is the first time we see it. Maestra. Here we go, here we go. Blessing of the Voices Voice. Okay, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, we got five packs left of this box. We're about to get some crazy ultras. I don't think there's anything worth getting that's an ultra though, right? Everything else that's high. I think the Dia Bellstar monster. Or the Snake Eyes monster. Oh, Nightmare Thrones Ultra. One, two, three. I think that's that'll be worth it, right? Oh my god, my cards are like shuffling around. Sorry, that took me forever to do that. I'm sorry, guys. Gold Pride Eliminator. Here we go. We go through. We're gonna just zoom through this. We're gonna zoom through this now. Oh, uh, Vados, the Dragon of Endless Darkness. Is he worth? I don't think he's worth anything. No. Uh, he's like ten bucks. I I guess he's worth something. Right? Okay, we have one ultra left. Potentially a QCR. Potentially, potentially, maybe. One, two, three, four. I think we pulled Cold of Soul. I think we pulled the Apprentice Magician or Nightmare Apprentice a little too soon, and it kind of hyped me up. But we're about to get a QCR and an Ultra here. This is going to be the Ultra. I have a feeling. This is Ultra right here. Two, three, four. This is Ultra right here. Oops. Nope. No QCR. Right, this has to be the ultra, right? Unless I could just like, I, unless I just get ripped off here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. Just not a bad ultra, please. Not a bad ultra. What? What? Did I just get ripped off? What? This is all the stuff that I had for my previous box. I got ripped off, guys. I think that's the first time I ever see that. Where I didn't get the four ultras. Like, that's crazy. Unless it's in my bulk somewhere. and th But there's no way I missed that, right? Like, we did that pack trick every single time. Let me see. There's no way. There's no way. Have you guys ever seen that? Look, we started off with the right side. We're going to go ahead and go left side now. We're going to go ahead and go left side. We're going to go ahead and go left side now. Okay. Box number two. First pack. One, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. I still like doing this. This is fun. It gives, it builds up a lot of anxiety. I'm like, oh, what am I going to get? You got another multiverse. And I still have, like, some credit uh, at my other card shop. So then I'm going to be using that. So we're going to be using that tomorrow. We're going to get a third box or a fourth box, really. Okay. 
shaman. What is that at the top? Hold on. What was that? I swear, these pack, if these cards come damaged, I'm going to be upset. Konami, get it together, bro. Get it together. Silent Magician Zero. No. Oh my god, this is a bad card. Uh, it's Silent Magician Zero. Like, I already have it up. It's like 10 bucks. No. No, please don't do me like that. Please don't do me like that. Okay, it's okay. Still got. We're going to get a good acute. We're going to get a QCR here. I mean, I pulled the whole, I, two, three, four. At this point, I got the promo from the raffle, right? Like, I got, I might as well play the dang deck, right? I mean, and then I pulled the QCR version of the. Okay. I was about to say. I was about to say, bro. I was about to say. The left side is doing us dirty, bro. La they didn't give us the ultra. Now they're giving us Silent Magician. Like, come on. Right side is about to carry. If we're starting off like that. If we're starting off like that. With with these bricks. Ooh, okay. I didn't see. Mirage Mirror Force. When your opponent wants you to declares an attack, especially someone with an illusion monster from your hand or graveyard, and if you do, return the attacking monster to the hand. If a face-up illusion monster, you control leaves the field by your opponent's card effect. While this card is in your graveyard, you could banish this card from your graveyard, especially someone with an illusion monster from your hand or graveyard. This is pretty good, I think. I, I think my other box, I didn't even get one copy of it. So it's looking to be short printed. So we got... Um... But seven more packs, including the one that I'm opening. I couldn't count for a second there. This is left side. Left side is two, three, four. Left side is 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 messing up. Gadget tree. <laughs> Oh my god, if this card is normal, special, you could add one shining sarcophagus or spell that mentions it from your deck to your hand. If this card is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can set one stronghold with a... Man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got the bad secret. The bad ultra. Oh my god, left side. Left side. Get it together, bro. Get it together. Oh my god, bro. What is this? Left side. Left side is just... One, two, three, four. Left side is just messing it up for us today, man. Okay. You got four more boxes. Four more beautiful boxes. Look, it would really be nice if we open another super rare of the Tenpai Dragon. Of the $15 super rare. Ooh, let's go! Let's go! We're making our profits back. That is, we, we, if we get another one in this box, you know what? I'll be happy the fact that we didn't open the, old, the fourth Ultra in that previous box. One, two, three, four. All right, le left side kind of kind of redeeming itself right now with that one. Man, I got a gambling problem, bro. I'm like, man. Okay. We don't really care about that. So we got one ultra, one secret, right? Yeah, yeah, because we're ripped off with our previous box with only three ultras. 
One, two, three, four. Ooh, super trident. Okay. Any of the tenpai stuff, right? Or the pie. Second to last pack on the left side. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Battleground Echo. One, two, three, four. Last pack of left side. Ooh, Nightmare Throne, a good ultra. Okay. Okay. Left side kinda coming in clutch. Kinda coming in clutch. Left side. Okay. We got right side. We got right side next. But I think on the back of the box it says like rarities aren't guaranteed. So we still are missing a secret. We're missing two ultras. We got one Sangpai, the White Dragon. I, I don't remember the dang thing's name. One, two, three, four. If we get a third one, we complete the set within two boxes. That would be a first that I've seen. White Lord, Konami. Konami, what are you guys doing? Get some help. More Marshmallow. More Marshmallow. Almost messed that up. Oh, good. Whatever. You see the other two. Ah! Cards are flying everywhere. One, two, three, four. Okay. <gasps> okay. 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 Let's go. We got a good one. We got the DFLs. I don't know how many you're playing. I think you're playing one, right? Let's read it. I haven't really read this card. If a uh, sinful spoils card is in either graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay. Um, you can only special summon this card once per turn this way. Your opponent must set her spells. Okay. Uh, this card is in the monster zone. You can target one card and you control and your opponent controls destroy them. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So, all right. So that we only have two ultras left and potential for a QCR. Potential for a QCR. Okay. Okay. Right side off to a good start. Off to a great start, I would say. Off to a great start, right? We got the Dia Bells. I mean, we pulled Nightmare Throne. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, but we're good. We are good. We're just going around this. We've seen everything already, guys. Ah, dang it. That was an accident. We got... Uh, seven more packs, including the one. So, as long as I don't get ripped off, right? Then we should be good. One, two, three, four. Oh, wake up. Potential QCR. I think... Like, I think we're going to get a QCR. I think we're going to get a QCR. One, two, three, four. We got the play set, baby. We got the play set. Right side is carrying hard right now. Carrying hard. These were like the ones that I pulled. Right side is carrying a hard right now. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. We got the playset. We got the playset. We don't even care about the Ultra. We don't even care about the Ultra. One, two, three, four. Okay. Don't care about that. Oh, no, we do care about the Ultra Konami. I'm, I'm messing around. I was messing around. I was messing around. Please give me an Ultra. <laughs> Please give me an Ultra. I guess they... they I guess they kind of made up for it, right? Like, with not ripping me off at the end of the last box and, and not giving me my dang Ultra. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, three more packs, guys. We got three more packs. At least give me a QCR, right? There we go. Ooh, that's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're about to get an ultra right here. Okay. No QCR this box. At least give me my fourth ultra. At least give me my fourth ultra. At least give me my fourth ultra. Oh my god. I swear. I've always got the bricks. Let me know what you guys think of the boxes. Um, the One of my personal favorite cards, man. Like, I really enjoy the art of Wake Up Centurion. It looks so sick, man. I'm glad that they got uh, the new tuner, even though that it's, like, kind of bad, in my opinion. Even though it got announced, um, it looks so sick. I really enjoy the art of Wake Up Centurion. But, you know, let me know what you guys think of the boxes. Did you guys like, did I pull good? Did I pull bad? Did I get ripped off from Konami? Let me know in the comment section, guys. But that's going to be it for me today. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Uh, turn on the notification, check out the description box, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, check you guys out later. Peace out.